Howdy, howdy folks, it's Diecast Buffet here again, and it's time for another NASCAR Diecast review. This one's kind of special. This is one that I've actually been waiting quite some time to do, and it's kind of a, a, a personal tradition I do. It's the passing of the torch of the Daytona 500 champion 164 Diecast. So, here we have it right here in our hands. It is Diddy Hamlin's 2019 uh, FedEx Express Toyota Camry. Uh, the one that he... The car that he won the uh, his second Daytona 500 in, so this is the exact paint scheme. You know, FedEx Express, not Office Freight or Ground. It's actually Express, and I'll uh, set that back here if I can get a good angle on it like that. And and here is my Daytona 500 uh, display box. Now this box is an old box, I, of course. That's why the the sticker is messed up. Because this one, it, I've had it for a very long time. I was a kid and I tried to peel the sticker off of it, but um, I didn't do that because, or I wasn't able to successfully do that and it started damaging it. And I was thinking, you know, it says Daytona on it. Might as well keep it. I mean, I would prefer to have it off there, but you know what? It's kind of like one of those things where I'm like, you know what? Kind of, you know, reminds me of my childhood. But basically what we're going to be doing, guys, is we're going to be taking out the um the austin dillon dow chemical camaro who won the 2018 daytona 500 and we're gonna be putting in the 2019 fedex express toyota camry let's get it started here she is guys brand new out of the package and uh this is denny hamlin's 2019 fedex express toyota camry uh this one's a almost a complete reverse of uh, last year's paint scheme with last year's paint scheme being all purple it was like a like a almost like a bobby labani internet interstate battery style kind of rip tear kind of uh, marking that goes across the side but uh no this, this is very very similar to uh jason leffler's uh design uh rest in peace to him but uh I honestly really enjoyed the alternate white uh, FedEx uh, scheme. I think it looks really cool. I always liked when he's ran a few alternate ones. But my biggest beef with it is that it's all the same color for each, um, you know, subcategory of FedEx. So you have like FedEx Ground, FedEx Freight. It's all the same color. And the older COTs, you know, they had the Denny Hamlin ones. And they, like, ground was green, freight was red, office was blue, and then uh, express was orange. But now, it's all the same thing. Well, guess what, guys? The um, the office, freight, and, um, ground, all those other ones, they've already been canceled in all scales. They've all been canceled because they're literally identical except for this little bit right here and a little bit right here and right there. They're, they're literally identical. So essentially, this is the only uh, version of this card that will be produced besides the Daytona 500 winning version and then possibly other raced versions such as the Texas one. But that, that's a shame, you know. I think that's a really big missed opportunity by FedEx to not understand and realize that if you run the same paint scheme 24-7, you're only having one paint scheme as in merchandise. That's only really one die cast you need to get if you're a Denny Hamlin fan. But if you have multiple ones... It entices people to buy multiple ones. It might make someone, hey, I need to get this one and you get that one. In other words, you make more money. And when the die cast gets completely uh, DMP'd, that's that you know that's a shame. So uh, I think FedEx needs to uh, definitely reevaluate uh, their uh, situation there. But nonetheless, I think this is a good primary. But I would like to see uh, FedEx return back to the colored schemes. Anywho, though. This car, it has like a really nice texture to it. Something that's not really usual. I don't know. It just feels like it has a really good gloss coating to it. Got this car, uh, one of my buddies on Instagram. Uh, he got me this car, made a trade with him. And this is a piece that I've been wanting really badly. I mean, yes, it's going to be in Wave 3, but I needed to have this car as soon as possible. So very uh, fortunate and uh, very grateful to get it. This car just it has like a like a certain finish to it, like a, like a texture, and it, I really like it. I don't know why, but it has like this kind of like gloss, like a thicker gloss, almost like an enamel kind of feel to it. And I, I don't recognize that from the um, the other die cast, so that, that's a plus. And to be dead honest with you, I really don't see any defects, really. I mean, maybe that FedEx uh, side decal there, maybe it's a little crooked, like right here. Maybe that's a little crooked. Um, 
for the most part though i really don't see i really don't see much um issues with this that's the, the goodyear logo is a little bit too forward there but you know i can live with that fedex logo is a little too placed down there it needs to be raised up a little bit more back of the car toyota logo is a little bit crooked as well as the fedex one but those are like minor 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 things so it's like you can live with it i mean like the fedex logo like as long as you get the numbers and the like the hood sponsor you know and the little side sponsors i'm okay everything else i can kind of live with uh so definitely a uh, pretty good job by lionel here uh definitely i think they did a solid job with this 2019 uh, toyota camry there so uh, i really do like it i think it actually looks pretty good this is a it, it's a good paint scheme but it's just a shame that they they don't run any color ones like I think they could, um, like, they could run the office scheme with, um, like, some type of accent color. Kind of like, they could replace the orange with blue and then replace the purple maybe with black. Or maybe make the entire car black and make this silver and then have blue. I don't know. There's some combinations they could do and still keep the same generic paint scheme, but they could change up the colors. Uh, I mean who knows i mean they can make the whole uh, orange and purple they can make that all one color you never know there's a lot of different combinations uh fedex could do uh, when they're you know partner with a team like joe gibbs racing that's had so many amazing paint schemes with like kyle bush you really think they would uh make some more for denny hamlin instead of just having one generic paint scheme one size fits all it does not help when it comes to uh sports marketing but yeah definitely a, a really solid job by lionel there and, of course, and since, since this is from the uh, Daytona 500 wave, it does come with the uh, Daytona, or not Daytona, but the 2019 uh, NASCAR Cup Series schedule. Now, this uh, piece right here is going to be very interesting to compare it to 2020 because uh, the, everything is changing. Like, the Daytona race in July, that's going to be moved all the way to here. Indianapolis is going to be moved here. Uh, Homestead is going to be all the way over here. Atlanta is going to be moved back. Martinsville is going to be a night race. Um, let's see what else. Pocono and Pocono are going to be combined for a double header. Um, Bristol, the I, I, it's so annoying how they they move Bristol to the playoffs instead of keeping the summer date. Darlington's going to open the playoffs, so you're going to have playoff banners possibly on throwbacks. I mean, definitely unfortunate in the Xfinity schedule. They're going to be running Martinsville. That's going to be really fun having Martinsville back on the Xfinity schedule. But it's time to uh, get this car in the box. Now this will go into uh, my Cario cabinet and will be uh, properly displayed and uh, preserved. So this car will sit in this box until the 2020 uh, Daytona 500 winning die cast is produced. Luckily last year we got the Austin Dillon one very early and luckily this year we were able to get the 2019 winner very early. I still need to get Kurt Busch's 2017 one because unfortunately they have the Monster logos on it so they only released the normal Haas version and I want the exact paint scheme. I don't want some cheap knockoff one. Uh, so nonetheless, very very cool stuff. This will go like I said into the Cario cabinet and We'll take one last look at the 2018 Daytona 500 uh, winner as he will be leaving his place. So now this is the passing of the torch, the Dow Chemical Chevrolet. Uh, we'll move on to a different frontier and the FedEx Express Toyota Camry holds the throne once more. And with that, that's the uh, tail end of this video. So if you like the video, guys, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new right here, smash that subscribe button. Uh, so close to 300 subscribers, man. We're getting there. Make sure to subscribe and uh, help Diecast Buffet hit 300 by May 5th, which is my birthday. So hopefully we can do that. Anywho, though, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a great one. And Diecast Buffet, signing off.